Yeah, today I'm going to teach you. Many people have been asking me, Hamis, how do we introduce these animals to molars? Because um, most of the animals are failing to get adapted or to start using molars, or sorry, start using silage. And I've been telling you all throughout that what we have to do is teaching those animals how to eat, um, um, how to eat um, molars. Then after learning how to eat molars, then you can um introduce them to whatever you want uh this is um molas the tera mola soy i would like to show you what molas is uh molas i've explained to you many times that this is a byproduct of um um sugar when 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 you harvest the sugar cane uh you take it to the sugar company the sugar picks out what they, where they can make sugar from, the residue is what they call molas. And uh, that molas is rich in the, in the carbohydrates, being it a, a sugar. So those are carbohydrates in a high level. So we, we use it. Like the way I have explained to you, uh, that um, the way I have explained to you that in Uganda, you can even do farming without, without a big land. Why? Because we have a lot of leftovers. Yeah, let's pour in. So guys, um, I always explain to you that this is what they call molas. So what you do, like in your farm, let put this molas where you want it. Um, put this molas where you want it. Just pour it like the way you see. It's a concentrated one. And um, we let these animals... Let those animals let them um first understand it because when they eat it they like it so when they like it they start to lick it you get it so put it on what they want because i know they love this so much so what you do you have to put it here and you see me on eh? i'm talking about the animals that doesn't know what silage is what molas is but of course they would be knowing um, what they call um, the salt. This is a mineral block. It's a salt that you have to put in your flock. So now that if they, they know how to eat the salt, that means put the molars on the salt because they already know what a salt is. The moment they are leaking, trying to understand that this is a salt, they will again start testing the molars. So the moment they test the molars, they will know how sweet it is. So put it in the trough. Like the way we have done, we put it in the trough and we are going to leave it open. Such that whoever wants, we lick and then understand. You see what I was trying to show you? Uh, the guy is now leaking. So he's leaking the, the salt because there is molars. So after getting the test of that salt sorry of the of the molars they will def definitely be looking for the molars so for your words today we are learning how we can um teach these animals the new ones how to eat molars then after knowing how to eat molars we are going to introduce them to all the grasses that we want um and this is the silage i think you do remember what i told you about silage um that is we do silage we do silage uh from uh, sugar cane sorry sugar cane tops we do silage from maize we do silage from um, maize leftovers so some animals don't want to eat it because they don't know it let's say you're just introducing them this is the process that you have to go through so for this case this is um this is the sugar grace uh silage you know i've taught you how to do silage then after teaching you how to do um, silage, now we are teaching you how to teach the animals eating the silage. Actually, we are still following up with our episode because we did all the land, the water, we stocked. So then after stocking, we even did the pastures. So after stocking, we are teaching the animals how to eat this. And that's what I'm trying to, to do. So what you do, after teaching them how to eat molars, you're going to be uh, mixing molars with water. Then you pour on this you get so you'll pour on but that's not the process 
uh, you have to put in water and then you dilute it but for the beginners you can start doing like this why because we need it concentrated so that these people can appreciate the taste of the molars then finally we shall use them on what exactly we want so this is the process so after doing that you're going to see animals i think we can come very very well simple and see what i have been telling you about you see the guy are now testing the molars you see what they are doing so he's leaking the salt as well as leaking the molars so he's understanding the test of the salt and is understanding the test of the molars i think when you get uh, much closer with a cameraman we'll show you uh what those guys are really trying to to do so he's now appreciating the test of the molars uh, and after understanding that you can do that for a week repeatedly so that these people can completely understand and like what i'm trying to, to explain to you so um that is how we can teach these animals understand the molars so after understanding the test of the molars whatever you can do with molars these animals can eat it come i show you um this is also a way of serving the alfalfa you can either do it that way uh, you put it up that those animals can browse that bell that bell is 20 kilos live weight so also there is also this other form of giving it to them i think you can see um get up so this is a bell of also alfalfa you know what i always say as a, a wonder grass so actually you put it in so that these guys can do what they call browsing but i think we are also going to put this aside reason being um of separating all this because we really want every god to enjoy but if you put it in a place where animals um you know um are confined the only stronger ones will get to serve the only uh, stronger ones will eat and that might also cause conflict in them because if one is stronger than the other you know what is going to happen these animals are going to fight if they fight it's your loss one you'll get miscarriages two you will not have exactly what you want because one animal will be bigger another one will be smaller reason being um they are fighting you know in their kingdom the the giant survives more than the, these other small ones because the giant first get um enough and then give to the rest not like for us human beings who first give the kids then we eat later when they are full in their kingdom the stronger the better for them the one who is strong will eat more when it gets done the leftovers will be to that and that will affect you a lot some of you get miscarriages not knowing what really exactly causes that kind of condition so i'm going to release now the guys to witness what i have been talking about because me me i always want to show you what, what what i'm trying to do and i think if you understand this this is going to be very beautiful for you um so i was telling the guy to remove that bell put it aside reason being if we confine all those bells together these animals are many you're going to see them being released so if we release them only the giant will serve the best you see what i was, I was trying to explain to you that uh, if you put molars if you put molars many guys will come and test i think you can see what i'm trying to explain to you the moment you do this many uh, let's say for a week i think you can see all those guys are like leaking it in the trough you're going to see a trouble when we release all these guys so they'll be leaking it like that for a week they will understand it much better so whatever even if you crush the leaves and you give it to them if you have put on molars these guys are going to crush all of it so let me just open and see these guys getting out and i think uh let me first chase this one's out move 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 ah 
this session is too too practical and uh, i would like you guys to understand it me um i really love if you do understand the concept and practice it so all these guys are now going to get out uh, going to eat so i think they will be coming the moment they understand that things have been put in place um, i think you can see and everybody is going to start now running to go to where they are going to feed from i think now i want you to observe eh, many things one you're going to observe their character or who is stronger than the other you get it and um where do their interest go you get it so the moment you understand their interests um put more into that so the reason why we dismantle the feeds from uh, on different edges um i've been explaining to you that the reason why we give out different serving centers i think let's call them different serving centers this is a serving center one for the um alfalfa there is a serving center two for alfalfa there is a serving center three for alfalfa and then sugar graze at the ground so actually the reason why we do that is because we don't want these guys to conflict the moment they do um the moment they collide and conflict it is a negative for us why because right now you see um all these animals i think you can show them this these guys those mothers you see they are very heavily pregnant and this is also heavily pregnant but the moment you put them in unusual uh, sorry in unfavorable co uh, place like let me say if we only had this serving center the only giants would be serving here whoever comes they can hit it so sometimes some diseases really uh comes in our conditions sorry comes in our farms not necessarily meaning that there is a disease but it might be a condition which kind of condition that kind of condition you know you're congesting them on one serving center the only stronger ones will eat and if the weak one starts to eat, will even be in panic that it cannot even stabilize to eat and be comfortable. You know, like if you're eating and you're expecting somebody to chase you at any given point, you can't eat something then goes into your, your, your stomach and, you know, you feel comfortable and satisfied. So that's why put more serving centers so that those who doesn't want, they can stay seated. Those that want can go into that. Then all of them that helps you to maximize their feeding because all of them will be having at least something to eat but if you don't do that you're going to find these animals hitting each other then you'll find a lot of miscarriages you'll find a lot of trouble and then you say hamisi i have a problem with miscarriages but not knowing that the condition these animals are living in is not really good so what you have to do put more serving centers teach them how to eat molars after teaching them how to eat molas, put whatever feed you're giving them with an um with the content of molas. Molas sweetens, it gives them appetite, and it is a carbohydrate. So it adds more fat on your animals. I think you can see we dropped it in the trough, and everybody now is yearning to 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 eat. So that will help us to improve. The reason why I give you all these crews, I don't want mistakes in farming. When you take an animal, give it very good feed, very, give it very good management. You've got a very good genetics. For real, you'll find life very, very easy. So me, um, the way the state or the status I see the country in, um, we are really on it. We are improving day and night. But we who started earlier than you, we have just to improve your life. How? Is by teaching you all this kind of stuff. So on our episode of doing the improvement, uh, sorry, stalking, and then move with a stalk, I think now I'm giving you the right hints because I've given you all the episodes up to stalking. We are done with the stalking and even handling the shipping fever. Right now, I'm handling the nutrition, how you are helping your animals understand or get adapted to the feeds that you have readily available. And that is how we definitely do it so 
I think you do understand it and it will be a very good ideal uh, project to, to go with. So basically you guys, me, my work is just to let you understand these concepts so that you act. If you have issues, you consult me. I can always give you free information as long as you give me a call and I pick. You can just explain to me what your issue is, then I give you answers. For your, for your information, I'm really helping a lot of people, a lot of, not only in my country, but even in Jamaica, even in Saudi Arabia, from all over the world. How would you feel if somebody who is in uh, Saudi Arabia, who is in Jamaica, who is in South Africa, benefiting from the knowledge when you people who are in my country can't come and see what I'm doing. I don't charge you money. I don't charge money to let you understand this. These things are too practical. I want you guys to understand the concept very, very well. I'm showing you more and I'm still showing you more and more. I'm going to be discussing all your challenges in this because the challenges you call the challenges are the same challenges that I resolve all the time. Good enough, I do it at my farm and everything I'm talking about, I show it to you on my farm. So the Savannah flock, you've seen it. I've showed you everything. I think the cameraman can come and uh, at least show you what exactly has uh, happened, wh what I have told you. So that was almost half. But as per now, you can't believe that there is only that. By the time it takes an hour, all these guys should have consumed a lot of things. I think you can see even this team is also perfectly doing their work and um, they are really enjoying it. But I think you can as well understand eh, where the interest of these guys are more. You see, we have silage down here and we have alfalfa up here. But all guys are trying to make sure that they are consuming the alfalfa than even the silage. So that is their in interest. The other one I told you, it's an additive that you can put on your feed. And this is a stomach filler, which also has a protein and a carbohydrate. So that's what I all had for today. Uh, let me just wish you the best as for now and bye for now.